hello welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be really fun i am shaking a little bit because oh, okay. sorry it's a little shaky so we're going to be doing a comparison between some mini dolls we're going to be comparing a mattel cloth body one vinyl body mattel mini doll or i guess a Mer yeah mattel and so this is a Mattel one, too. And then Pleasant Company mini doll. Of course, because the box can't see her in there. But we have Kirsten. Unless, I don't want, unless my assistant wanted that to be a surprise. Just look at this. So let's talk a little bit about these. Lena? Alright. So we're going to start with the Pleasant Company. The Pleasant Company mini dolls were released in 1997. And it comes with this little thing, little sash around here, I think I can call so it they, that. So technically they barely count as that, barely. But it's recycled packaging, so that's nice. Yeah, you still have this thing, which is really nice. These are hard to come by, so I'm just going to place that to the yeah. side so we don't get damaged or lost. And I'm not going to show the doll yet. We're going to look at the packaging. It's just a basic white cardboard it's box. It definitely pieces. feels recycled. I know that sounds strange to say, but it just feels recycled. It has no peephole, unlike these ones right here. And from well, what you can tell, it's pretty easy to open, which is really nice. Same as these the ones other. are, they're all kind of have this vacuum seal to them, the tiny boxes. And, except for Gracie, has a little bit of a loose box. And the American Girl Collection started in 1986 by Pleasant T. Rowland. And we have some of our original lineup here. Molly, Samantha, Addie, Kirsten, and Felicity. We only have a Samantha mini, but she's a newer one. I guess we could use her as a bit of a comparison. But let's open up the box and sew off. We also have the books for some, I think, and we don't have Kirsten books, but we have books for some of these girls. Yeah, and we're going to move to the floor right here since I didn't work there easier. So now we're going to unveil the first Pleasant Company mini doll, or technically the only. It comes with a little pamphlet about Kirsten, basically giving a little synopsis of what she goes through and with her new life in America. Kirsten's family is a immigrant, I believe, and they're Danish descent. Sorry about all the angles, I can't decide. And this decide. is the little book called Meet Kirsten, the it's original book. It's hard cover, so it's that's hard nice. It's cover, and it has a little and it has like a little sheet over it to protect it. And book cover. This isn't really even open, we're going to be really delicate, but it does have pages in there, and you can read them with illustrations. Ooh. So we're going to be really delicate and careful because this is quite old, and book glue it doesn't last forever even if you don't use them much we got this one our kirsten's from ebay of course because we weren't even born when these were released <laughs> i think my favorite part already is that which actually the molly mini doll that mattel made comes with that and it might have even given her a um, a um hardcover book or something like that to be more accurate now let's have a closer look at the doll the doll moves she has the basic five points of articulation that all the dolls have. And let's look at her undergarments. They're very well sewn, she well has made. Socks. She little has little boots. full leather boots. They're not. I think these hard. are bloomers. They have little bloomers and little socks. So see, so yeah. look at that. Really nice. Very a lot of clothing on the historical characters. And this is actually slightly used, but in excellent condition. She has a little stains over here, but that's okay. Yeah, the she's in really great condition, in my opinion. And this is Kirsten's hair was cut at the back to make the braids look more del look more even. That was done by the manufacturer, not the Which, person. Which, I'm gonna say, I don't really like that they did that, but I'm not hating it. Her hair is like these little braids that are folded and then tied with a blue Much knot Much like top. the big Kirsten would come with if we don't have her, but she did come in that hairstyle too. She has the classic original face molds. See. And as you can see, she has glass eyes. Her skin's quite yellowy. That's just the thing with older dolls. Just so you know, even if it does look a little weird on camera, that's why. The yellow skin's fine. It's just a sign of her age. Her face paint's pretty vibrant. She has a little apron. Wait, does that? Yeah, she yeah. has a little apron. It has a pocket, but we it's so tiny, it's hard to tell if you could actually get anything in there. I like to see. <laughs> yeah, it's too... It opens, but you can't get anything in there unless it's microscopic. Yeah. She's in very good condition. So I guess let's go to comparing. Let's compare with another doll I have. 
So, next in our guest mini doll timeline is Sage. I, don't, I forgot her. I don't have her insert anymore, and I did take out her hair, just so you know. But she's cloth body. I wonder what Kirsten's body looks like. We'll do a body comparison at the end for you guys and line them up in the dollhouse. All right. She, has... well, she looks a little more squishy. It could just be that she's wearing more clothing than Sage. And it's a little short in the back right here. I could see why some mini dolls have this problem where their skirt goes. Oh, yeah. I mean, Sage is over here almost blasting us, so pulling down her skirt now. This is the book. It's not hardcover. It's a little paper back book. Unlike Miss Kirsten's, which was hardcover. I'm so yellow. But... <laughs> oh my god, this is like Sage versus Kirsten. Yellow as heck. I know, it's just because he's older. I don't really like yellowy looks on the skin tones. I prefer darker, though, so that's probably why. But it's just the fact that he's older, that's all. Yeah. Oh my god, what's that? And Sage, this time, you can open her book and have a little look through. It's too small to read the print, but it is super cute. It might even have one picture in here. Yep. Right there. There is one illustration. As for this book, it's the oh, same it's very size. Stiff. And it's stiff. And it has some We're pictures concerned we'll mess it up. Yeah, we tried to sew you, but we don't want to mess All it right, up. There we go. I can show you a peek right there. I did something, and I don't know what I did. Oh, it's gone. No, really. Nope. Anyway, that's it. And let's compare. Do you want to try to undress them? Yeah. See, his cloth like We're not going to undress Kirsten. We don't want to do that. But this one definitely is a cloth body, just so you know, from 2013. She kind of has this old basement musty storage smell. Oh yeah, that's for sure. And then the she next doll is... This was released in 2015, Grace Thomas Mini. She was one of the first vinyl ones to come out. She has a smaller book that... And I think this is about the time they removed illustrations from them. And it's smaller in size, which is adds up. And then, looking at the doll itself, she's, of course, vine. She's completely vinyl-bodied. We can sell you that just fine. Because of her clothing. She has she... painted blue eye. So there's a, clearly a pretty big difference between them. And a lot of blush. Very. <laughs> she was one of the first time they did the dolls this way. She looks really cute and very well made. Her hair's really nice. And Kirsten's hair feels a little thicker than... Her hair almost feels soft and silky. Almost, but Kirsten's hair is actually not very soft or silky. It feels real almost, like real human hair. Oh, it's almost thick. crunchy. I don't know. It don't, just isn't as soft as the newer dolls. And Kirsten is definitely a little more squishy. I like would comparison. Of course, this one oh. is vinyl body, so that's why she's not as squishy as Miss Kirsten. And Miss Kirsten here is a little shorter. So let's put Sage in the little lineup. Of course, Sage is a Sage is a little taller, also, but that could be how she's. There we go. <laughs> That's the comparison. Uh, let's just say which ones we like best, and you guys can say whatever you like best. I prefer Sage a little because she's cute and squishy. Kirsten's very adorable. She is. She even has her little glass eyes are quite impressive. Very high quality, of course. She did come cross-eyed. That's it is nice. She's very great condition. Only thing I can really say against her is uh yellowy skin. I wish they weren't this yellowy. What are, I don't know. The angle my camera has her eyes at is very right, weird. Let's see. Her let's fingers are all over. Sleeve. There we go. Oh yeah, she's yellow. And she's sticky, like right here. That could be because the uh, plastic does tend to rot or decay called plastic rot or something. Concerns me a little, actually. But she's vinyl, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Does vinyl do that too? Mm -hmm. Vinyl does take on a stickiness when it's real, when it's somewhat dirty. And she's not really dirty. She's just kind of sticky because she's older. Her face is not. Sticky, I can though. definitely say I prefer them looking less orangey now. But it's that's all really. 
Yeah. Her eyes look so weird like, on camera. What? Her face well hasn't changed much. Well, yeah, they're both classics. He has the older version of the classic, though, which is a little bit chubbier, and she seems to have what I call where the heck is her neck with so many layers of clothing. Does she have a neck? We cannot find it. Her clothing is so thick on her small body, we can't. Hold on. See. Wait a moment. I'm trying to Oh, wow, does this clothing are tight on this little guy? Oh my god, she's... Look, she has a neck. She does have a neck. We and a necktie. And... Of course, she has neck strings like all the mini dolls do. And she and her, her this matches her old skin tone. Her yep, a little actually a little lighter than her orangey skin. Interesting. Probably because the skin's been oranged over, just got that color over time. I don't think they started off this way, unless I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, my Grace here is about five years old. I haven't had her for the whole time. I bought her off like Amazon <laughs> in 2017. On a good deal, so it's like fifteen dollars. I don't pay much for my minis. Now let's check the stitching in the bottom. It's really good stitching. It even has this double little seam right here, which is really nice. Very historically accurate. All and of them are. there's nothing else under there. So this is her undergarment little Of course that's I think that's effective with her underpants, right? Mm -hmm. So yep, that's her little pants just for you who don't know that. She doesn't come with like modern underwear like Grace would. Yeah. And her dress is shorter than most of the stores. It's a little short for the era, I'm gonna say. I Maybe I'm wrong and I just misjudged it, but it seems a little short to me. And the back specifically is where I see that issue. But she is mini and it is harder to size clothing. And her shoes are very well made. Reminds me of Josefina's shoes. Like the older I guess Josefina. if we're gonna speak on the quality of Miss Sagey here, her clothing's good. Although I would definitely say it is very hard to dress safe. <laughs> And of course, we still have it open in the back because we were selling you before. Let's see. Let's see if her legs are limp. No, they aren't. They're just tight. Right? They're tight. This little Sagey's tight too, even if she's seven years old. Let's see. I'm pretty sure she could stand because she's flat footed, but her sho shoes will make it. It could be that we're on carpet and they're not going to stand. I'd definitely say that there is a step down in quality, especially. Wait, is there. What is going on with your eyes? All shiny around your eyes, Grace. Can they what focus? No, no. I don't know if you guys can see it, but shiny. Yeah, like shiny around the eyelash area. So, I don't know if that. Was... It's different though. Kirsten is not shiny around her eyelashes. In fact, her eyelashes are almost non-existent. See little, I think line brows. Oh no, focus. Ah, oh, my God. It won't focus on her very well. She has messy, messy little But she bangs. does have line eyebrows, and the other two have feathered. Eyebrows feathered. There. I won't focus on her with her hair up for some reason. We tried, but she, I'll just tell you, she has little lines. Not a fan of line eyebrows. <laughs> or really, overuse of the classic mold. <laughs> so is this, is that a, it's a wig. Her hair's oh, a yeah. wig. Yeah. These are, all have rooted hair, as you can see. Yeah. So C's rooted, uh, Miss Sage is also rooted, as you can tell. So she has a little wig So on. C has a tiny wig. My vibe is a little wild. Wigs are a little harder to maintain. I'd say they're all overall really good quality, but Kirsten's definitely the best quality of the bunts. And I don't know what I did to my camera. And uh, with Pleasant Company, it's kind of a hair miss. With this Kirsten, her eyes are crossed. Some of the Pleasant Company I adults saw are one. crossed eyes. Or, like, there's ones that their eyes get messed up in other ways. She looks good, though. Very cute. She's very light lip paint, though. Like, really light compared to some other girls. Yeah, like, they're a little more heavily makeup, I say. She has, like, a slight blush. Grace looks like she has more makeup, for sure. But she's older, so maybe the paint's just not there, even if she hasn't been played with. Let's... End the video with the dolls in the dollhouse. I'm going to pause it and be back to you in a moment. What I did. We're back. Wait, what happened? Okay. So, that's all of them. Tell me which one's your favorite. Which one of these, if you have any of these, tell me. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you to my sister for helping. Because she bought them. She actually bought that Kirsten one. It's not mine. Although, I did buy my grace, and I was given sage, so those two, the other two are mine. We do have 
of course, plenty of mini dolls are some of the favorite things you get from American Girl. Hope you enjoyed the video.